Hello and welcome to another episode of Bike Channel Kenya in our workshop and maintenance segment. Today we are looking at the two types of wheels you will see on almost every bike that is spoked and alloy wheels and now for the new kid on the block the carbon wheels which are used on iron motorbikes and for racing applications. Let's start with the spoked wheels shall we? These were the norm used on every bike until the early 70s when alloys came around. In their basic form, we have a rim being connected to the center by spokes. So, why are they almost always used on off-roadish bikes? Well, the answer is simple. Due to the nature of their design, they can flex and bend, making jumping, riding on tough terrain a walk in the park. And remember, if you bend one of the spokes, all you do is replace that single spoke. These are a must on motocross, enduro, and any adventure bike that is designed with off-road in mind. One drawback is that they almost always use tubes. So if you happen to get a flat, you have to take out the tube and repair it. Technology has however caught up with the problem because now you can get wire spoke rims which are tubeless, which you will see on most modern adventure bikes. If you are on the motocross or enduro bikes, you can use a mousse, which I will discuss in a later video. Now let's get to the alloy wheels, which you will see on every modern bike that isn't designed with off-road in mind. Even the cheap budget ones nowadays have alloy wheels. In their basic design, they are a one-piece aluminium or magnesium alloy forged to make the rim. Now because they are a one-piece structure, they are very rigid, meaning they are very predictable on corners. Not only that, but because they are more rigid, they can handle more power and in turn higher speeds. Most of alloy rims, if not all, are tubeless, meaning in case of a flat, all you'll need is the tire to be punched and you'll be on your way. One drawback with alloy is that when you hit a portal and bend the rim, unlike wire spokes, which will replace the specific wire spoke, for alloy rims, you will need to replace the old rim, which can be quite expensive. There are two variations of these alloy wheels. One is the aluminium, which you'll find on 99% of the bikes. And then there is magnesium cast, which has a slightly better tensile strength and is lighter than aluminium, which you will find on iron sport bikes like the R1M. And now for the new kid on the block, carbon wheels. And as the name suggests, they are made out of carbon fiber. You will see this almost exclusively on racing bikes because they are very light. When carbon wheels appeared back in the early 90s, they were known to flex too much, making the bikes unrideable at the end of the Grand Prix. That was then, however. Now, in 2020, things have moved on and technology has greatly improved. Most truck riders are showing up with them, especially in the wealthy countries like those in Europe. And I say that because they cost anywhere from 250,000 to 300,000 Kenyan shillings, which is about 2,000 pounds. And at that price, you can be sure we won't see them any time in Kenya. Typical aluminium wheels weigh 6.5 to 7 kgs for the front and 10 kgs for the rear. Now, for the carbon fiber wheels, they weigh typically 3 to 3.5 kgs for the rear and 2 to 2.5 kgs for the front. You can see we save around 11 kgs of what is unsprung weight, weight which is not supported by the suspension. And that can have as much effect as losing 100 kgs from the rest of the bike. I hear the handling is so significant that it caught out some riders. Some riders are even claiming that carbon fiber wheels might be the only upgrade you need if you are serious about track riding. With the handling benefits, one can see their point. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let's hear what you think in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? See you on the next one. Ciao.